Bailey did. Louis Bailey was born September the 8th, 1954, in Tower Town, Mississippi. She was born during the time of segregation. That means that black people and, and white people did everything separately. Black people had to go to different restaurants, stay at different hotels, and go to different schools. Even though the law said that everything must be separate but equal, that never was the case. My schools had newer buildings, desks, and books. Black schools didn't have all that they needed. During the Civil Rights Movement, black people fought to end segregation and provide a better education for their children. Louis Bridges was the first African-American child to integrate schools. At the time, Ruby Bridges was only six years old, just like us. Even though that Ruby Bridges was only six, she was very brave. Many white people didn't want white people and black people to go to school together. U.S. Marshals were ordered to escort Ruby and her mother to school so that Ruby could get to class safely. When Ruby Bridges went to William France Elementary School, all the white children stopped coming to school. Ruby took her classes all alone and wished that the children would come back to school. Even though Ruby was scared, she was very brave. She prayed for her safety. She prayed for the white people who threatened her life. Because Ruby and her parents trusted in God, Ruby found the strength to keep going to school even though it was hard. Later, the white children returned to school and many more schools were integrated too. Even though this all may seem like a long time ago, it's not that far back in history. Ruby Bridges is only six years older than my granddaddy. Ruby Bridges is still an activist today. She writes books and she goes to different schools to teach children how to love all colors. Ruby Bridges was brave and trusted God. I hope I can be brave like her when I grow up. Well, wait, we're six. We can be brave like Ruby Bridges now.